Welcome to another episode of Smash JT. We finally have confirmation that Super Nintendo games will indeed be coming to the Nintendo Switch fairly soon via an official leak from Nintendo found by Link83 posted to Reset Terra. We got the back of a Super Nintendo controller that is clearly being made for the Nintendo Switch similar to how those NES style controllers were made for the Switch to plug into the side of the docks. It looks like Nintendo is going to be doing something fairly similar with Super Nintendo controllers which means these games will be coming fairly soon and we're going to be talking about the potential possibilities with what could be happening with these games and let's just hope these games don't get drip fed to us like Nintendo's been handling the NES games with their online service but we all know they're going to. Brought to us by Nibble on Twitter, this is a leak from Link83 on Reset Terra where he posted, hoping somebody can make a thread about this and I don't have a high enough post count. I set up an alert for any new Nintendo FCC ID filings and just received a new one. The FCC ID BKE HAC042 wireless game device by Nintendo CO LTD. The photos etc are confidential until next year. However, looking at the label location PDF reveals this, and it's an image of the back of the Super Nintendo controller. He says model HAC042, so it's for the Switch. It looks like we will be getting Super Nintendo online virtual console sometime soon along with a Bluetooth controller. And he said, edit, I wonder if Nintendo will have made any changes to the controller design. Almost looks like there might be a ZL or ZR buttons on the top edge. Yes, that's ex exactly what it looks like. Similar to what the Joy-Cons on the Switch look like for the NES Online. Looks like they're going to be doing something similar with the Super Nintendo controller. As far as what other people in the thread have been saying, of course we're getting Super Nintendo games. Probably N64 a year after. It's a bit sad that it happens two and a half years after it's been on the market though. Yes, a lot of people might be thinking that these Super Nintendo games coming to the Nintendo Switch are going to be too little, too late. Can't really complain with more games coming, but like Nintendo loves to do with their retro catalog, they like waiting until the very last moment to actually give people what they've been demanding when it comes to retro gaming. Not sure what games are going to be available at launch and how they're going to distribute them. I do recall back during their annual meeting or something to do with investors, they were discussing the possibility of a different tiered Nintendo Switch Online account. And I really hope that doesn't come to fruition. But right now it's what, $19.99 a year in the US to have a Nintendo Switch Online account. Whereas once this comes out and these controllers are part of it, who knows, maybe Nintendo will sell these exclusively online via their Nintendo Store just like they did with the NES controllers and maybe connect it with a Super Nintendo Online account that requires you to spend $10 more a year or something crazy like that. I have a hard time believing they do that just for Super Nintendo games. I feel like that would piss a lot of people off. But at the same time, it's Nintendo, and we've seen them been drip-feeding really poor NES titles month after month. Now, some people might complain with me on that, but you got to admit, the amount of NES games are lacking overall compared to the gigantic catalog that's sitting on Nintendo's lap. They're doing nothing about it. When these Super Nintendo games come out, it wouldn't surprise me to see if Nintendo increased the rate of their online Nintendo service and depending on what games come out if they maybe sell them individually I'm not gonna assume that's happening either but they might raise the price of them as well just like they did on the Wii and the Wii U but maybe there's a virtual console coming maybe there's a lot of things coming right now it's all speculation we don't know for sure but what we do know is Super Nintendo games will be coming to the Nintendo Switch fairly shortly. This is supposed to be hidden until 2020, so clearly not coming out this year, at least the FCC filings would say that, doesn't mean that they couldn't drop it sooner, but according to these, it is listed here with the frequency range, the test report, all these things submitted available August 9th, August 9th, August 9th, and here's the application forms 
all the information on the FCC ID filing. So they're going to be Bluetooth. They're going to connect with the Nintendo Switch. And according to these leaks on Twitter, this is the image that was found in the file application for the HAC042 wireless game device label diagram mods dp1 nintendo so it is going to be happening just a matter of when and right now you can just look at the pdf file and see this that's it it's just the cover of the pdf not sure if that was a mistake by nintendo or how they're supposed to be submitting the fcc filings if it is required to have an image on the front page but there it is, an official leak of a Super Nintendo controller clearly coming to the Nintendo Switch. To be very interested to hear where you guys stand on this if you're interested in the Super Nintendo Online, as long as it's part of the regular service that Nintendo is currently offering, if you'd be willing to pay more for this if they were to have two tiered different accounts for their online service, if you'd want to get these Super Nintendo controllers, if it's too little too late for you, where you stand on this entire situation. The good news is it's coming, now let's wait to see how Nintendo decides to deliver it. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, you stay smashing. Smash, 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 smash.